Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I am currently being swarmed by mosquitoes. For the past week I've had our mosquito control system shut off. I shut it off so that these guys could build up and I could do a video to show you how dramatic it is without that system. In this video I'm going to be showing you two methods. I'm going to be showing you that method and I'm also going to be showing you a solar option with a smaller fan. Now I have one of those propane mosquito catchers. They catch about 100 mosquitoes a night. Does nothing for this. Doesn't even change the population at all hardly. The system that I'm going to be showing you, each fan will catch thousands in one night. I also have a bug zapper. They're not really attracted to it. Even with the special scent that you put in, they just seem to ignore it. All you really kill with that is a couple big moths every now and then. Now, in order to do this, you need a fan, a large fan, that has a can around it like a standard box fan with a pretty good volume. This is a Max Flow air fan. You get them at Home Depot. I actually have had a couple of them over the years. The motors hold, hold up really well, but these fans, they're nine years old, 100% continuous use. They work perfect. So they're expensive, but they're definitely worth it. They move a lot of air. All you do in order to kill a lot of mosquitoes, you need some rare earth magnets. You take a regular piece of screen, cut the cord close so it doesn't get in the way, and just drape the screen over it. Now in the morning, I'm gonna show you what we collected. You need the magnets to make sure that none of the screen falls off so you have a nice, solid screen to the fan all the way around. You, of course, want to watch your fingers when you do this, typical stuff, but that's just a piece of screen. There's nothing special. You're going to notice that we are in long clothes right now. In the summertime in Florida, you have to wear long clothing or you end up putting DEET all over you all day long and that's not very good for you. So this fan, we've already got about 10 or 20 of them, will catch thousands in one night. For the next step, what you do is you get yourself some 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol and you want to dilute this like 50% with water. So it's a good idea to put the alcohol in another bottle. This takes the flammability out of it and that, it actually works better to have a watered down version. So when you spray this around there, you try not to get it in the center of the motor, but you will pretty much wipe them all out. Now your white area down here, it's a good idea to just get it nice and wet. So I used about, I used hardly none of it, and that's enough to wipe all of them out. You want to shut your fan off. So this is what we were able to accomplish in 24 hours. Now the neat part about this is the alcohol and water eventually evaporates. Instead of this just being something that you discard in the trash, you can actually leave it out and lizards, frogs, bugs, they'll all come and they'll eat this stuff and they actually leave something behind. For the solar option, you want to set up similar to this. This is the bilge fan motor. It's a very high volume motor and it sucks pretty much anything that goes by it in. You put the screen on the opposite end over there. You have a deep cycle battery. This is a little bit more expensive because this is good for areas way out where you don't have an electrical service or if you wanna just do a grid-free option. 
put a solar panel, this 80 watt panel will actually run this 27 watt blower fan as long as the sun's out and it'll also provide enough current to recharge the battery. Wiring setup that you want to have is something more permanent than this. This is not, this is just for the demonstration. The panel slightly overpowers the fan. They run fine directly off the panel. This is the sewer pipe. This is a standard sewer pipe. Pretty inexpensive. It's like five bucks for a 10 foot section. You cut a small piece of it, wrap your tape around it. The reason that you want to do that is for cleaning. It slides right off and then all of your bugs would be in there. You could spray them and then dump them out. This setup right here costs almost $300 between the battery and the panel and the uh, blower fan. It runs all by itself. You just want to make sure you don't run out of juice for this because all your bugs will escape. So this is what we were able to catch in 48 hours with three of the big fans and a small solar option. There is a lot of mosquitoes in there. There's some moths, there's a few moths. What you want to do is if you don't mind touching bugs, if you see a moth on there, pull them off because they don't really hurt anything. Or if you see uh, some certain types of uh, larger looking mosquitoes, they've got long wings, they actually feed on other bugs so you want them around. You basically pull them out. There's also a couple leaves in here, but I'm going to show you exactly how much we got. You're going to notice too that I am wearing short sleeves because I'm not being swarmed right now. Even in our office here, there would be 20 or 30 at any given time. Those are mostly mosquitoes right there. There's thousands of them. There's actually uh, 10,942. I don't know how many there are. I didn't bother counting them, but these are just leaves from the plants. There's almost really no, there, oh, there's a moth. He survived. What I'm gonna do is take these, and just put it out on the ground. Bugs will eat it. What I was telling you happens when you leave it on the white piece of styrofoam or whatever you put the dead bugs on, Whenever the alcohol dries out, the bugs come and eat them. They leave the legs behind. So in here is last year's mosquito leg collection. There are thousands of mosquito legs in this jar. I don't know why you'd want to collect mosquito legs, but if you ever enter a contest where whoever gets the most mosquito legs wins, you can let the bugs do all the work and um, you'll win the contest because you won't have to sit there with tweezers. But. So this is one way to take care of mosquitoes yourself. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching. Enjoy our videos. I did a whole DIY video on how to build this. I'm going to be uploading that soon. We don't have any bats in it. Uh, we do have a couple bats in the area, but they have yet to nest in there. Evidently, you have to put some bat poop in there in order to attract them. So I have to find bat poop and get up there and smear it around, I guess. But um, those work really well. Bats can eat... Pretty much what you saw on the table, a couple bats can eat that same amount in one night. 